Hi everyone, welcome Aries. Today I'm gonna to do your June love reading. Please remember it is a general reading, so if you'd like something uh, more specific, a personal reading, my information is in the description box. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Um, you know, it is general, so uh, remember it may not resonate with everyone. If you'd like to check out your other signs, there is a video playlist link below. Okay, and then the last thing that I have for you, if you're new to my channel, um, I am doing a giveaway at the end of the month. I'm giving away two personal readings. Um, to enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. Details are in the description box. There is another video um, with the details um, if you watch that video, you like and comment, you will be entered and I'm pulling one winner just from that video. The second winner will be the collective of all the videos. So let's get started, Aries. All right, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Aries is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Aries the accurate messages and details they need to know to help them on their journey, give them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. Amen. Okay, so let's get one card here for Aries. This is uh, Notes from the Universe. So let's get one card for Aries. All right. Okay, so the message that you got, Aries, is... It's not as if you need anyone, okay? For as long as you wish to keep them in your life, whoever they may be, understanding them as opposed to changing them will wildly improve the chances that they'll wish to keep you in their life. On the other hand, you're pretty much stuck with me. Oh, wow, I love you, the universe, okay? So, very nice message there from the universe, okay? So, big message in there. Uh, you know, um, maybe the person you're dealing with is trying to change you or control the situation or vice versa. Remember um, that energies can be reversed. Um, so resonate with the messages how they fit, okay? Or take the ones that do. All right, let's get started here. I'm just gonna cut these cards. This is the uh, Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. All right, thank you, angels and spirit. What messages do you have for Aries? What messages do you have for Aries? Let's get their uh, whew, present situation here. We have the base chakra. Past, we have patience. Future guidance, we have conflict and defeat. Focus, we have heartache and loss. Oh boy, what's going on, Aries? The good thing is, is right in the middle of the center of the reading, you have the base chakra, which tells me things are stable. Okay, and then <laughs> possible outcome, you have the universe. Okay, we're going to clarify all these cards. Let me just make some room here. I was running out of room. Bottom of the deck, we have movement, choices, and decisions. Okay, so some of you may be uh, trying to make some major decisions at this time. Okay, a lot of different choices. This can be about finances. This is a love reading, but finances can be involved here. This could be about your current situation in love, uh, your current connection here, okay? Could also be about how you're feeling, all right? And um, also what you're thinking about the situation. Okay, so let's get started here. So in the past position here, you have patience here. So I feel like Aries, you've been trying to be patient with the situation, okay, with the person um, that you may be involved with or somebody um, that you have a connection with, 
and I feel like the seed has been planted and um, you're just trying to wait here for it to grow, all right? So this is number uh, 14, which is five. So I feel, you know, you may have had some conflict in the past because you have another five here, another conflict and defeat here, but we'll get to that one. Center of the reading, you have the base chakra. Okay, now this tells me right now things are stable. Okay, so I feel like there may have been a past situation um, where there was some heartache and some loss here. Um, but I feel like you're healing through that because this is telling me that things, almost like there's a new beginning here for you. Okay, the universe, you know, got the universe right above it here. So I feel like there's some type of new beginning that's coming after this conflict or you, this conflict may have already passed because we have here the focus in the reading, we have heartache and loss. So the person you're dealing with, you may have had some heartache and loss, okay? You may be going through some healing here, all right? The message I always get with this card is somebody may be feeling a little bit guilty, okay, about something here. Um, this also can just be the loss of something does not have to be lost between you and your love. Um, your person or you could be going through some type of loss as well during this time, okay, that has you or this person a little sad here. Now in the future guidance position here, you have conflict and defeat, okay? So um, I feel here that you may be still carrying this heartache loss into the future here, okay? Maybe not being able to let it go. Uh, maybe feeling a little defeated with the situation. We're gonna clarify the cards here. And then your possible outcome here, you have the universe. So I feel here this is an indication that the universe is going to intervene here, all right? Um, so, you know, there may be some events that happen, um, you know, that you feel you do not have control over, okay? And I feel like it goes back to this message. It's not as if you need anyone here, okay? So um, it's not about the control of the situation. It's about letting things flow. And I feel like the universe is making things happen. Okay, so let's, um, let's pull some clarification cards. Let's start here with patience. Why is patience here, please? Why is patience here? Why is patience here for Aries for June 2020? Okay, we have the Ten of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so I feel here, Aries, um, you've been patient in the past. I feel here there's a lot of challenge. There were a lot of challenges here with the Ten of Wands here. And you were wanting some action to be taken here, or you want action to happen here. I feel here things maybe um, went a little slower, or they didn't go how you wanted here. Now, this is fire energy, um, so this is your energy, Aries, or you could be dealing with another Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right, so let's move on to the base chakra. Why is the uh, base chakra here, please? Why is the base chakra here, please? Okay, we have the Six of Cups. And we have the Three of Cups. Beautiful. So I feel like things um, are good right now, or they're going to be good here in June, because you have, this is, tells me, this base chakra, you have stability here. You have the Six of Cups, which is soulmate energy here, and you got the Three of Cups. This is celebration or union. So this person, um, maybe a water energy, a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces, okay? This could be somebody from your past, um, but definitely um, this is somebody um, that you know, because I feel like it's somebody that you've gone through some past challenges with um, and have definitely had some patience with. Okay, let's move on here uh, to why is conflict and defeat here, please? Why is conflict and defeat here? Okay, yeah, we have the Five of Swords. 
same card conflict here let's get one more card please one more card Ooh. okay seven of swords I'm gonna get one more okay eight of wands okay so we have the five of swords the seven of swords and the eight of wands I feel here for some of you because you also have the three of cups here okay you have the five of swords could be dealing with an Aquarius Libra or Gemini um, again seven of swords with um, air energy again and then also fire energy Aries or Sagittarius your energy Aries so I feel here that um, for some of you you could have been involved in a third party situation all right this person um, may have kept this secret um, you know it could be this person also um, is in the midst of getting a divorce I always look at this card on um, this five of swords as there's three people involved here okay so it doesn't always have to be about um, you know another lover here could be somebody else in the mix here so there may be some um, conflict um, in the future um, regarding a third person okay that may have already been a past challenge here okay so I feel like there there could still be some conflict or you may still be carrying this conflict with you into the future here okay um, you know maybe there is some trust issues because maybe this person was not um, honest with you in the past but I do see here there is going to be a lot of communication in the future with you and your person here okay with the eight of wands this tell me, tells me there's going to be a lot of communication um, if the two of you um, were at a distance I feel this person is going to come closer is going to um, you know communicate more to you because like I said you do have union here okay everybody's story is going to be different um, so I feel like the two of you will talk through and the guidance here is to talk through this past situation so that you don't keep bringing this into the future but I do see union here okay in the present situation which is great all right let's see what this heartache and loss is thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what is this heartache and loss now I did say I felt um, somebody may have felt guilty in the situation and that could be this person who um, was not honest about something here why is heartache and loss here thank you angels and spirit okay we have a six of pentacles and we have the five of pentacles okay so this person may have not been there for you in the past here with the five of pentacles okay but I do see here there's going to be some more give and take here this person is going to work on give and take um, I feel like this person is going to put more effort into the connection than they did in the past now um, so I feel like they're going to focus on that okay um, for the current situation now you could be dealing with a Capricorn a Taurus or a Virgo let's move on to the possible outcome why is the universe here please why is the universe here we got three cards beautiful beautiful energy okay so first card you have is the page of cups all right so I do feel here this person is going to be sincere um, they are going to reach out to you um, they are going to test the waters okay because I do feel like this is um, you know uh, somebody from your past or somebody that you're currently dealing with that you have some type of conflict with for some of you this could be new love if you're not wanting this person to return or the person from your past you're not really dealing with um, it could be that you're just dealing with the hurt um, from the past and you want somebody else who's going to put more time and energy into a connection so this also could be a new person coming in but for a lot of you I feel like this is somebody that you're already dealing with that you have a connection so this person is um, definitely going to make an offer but they're gonna 
they're going to make a small offer at first because I feel like this person doesn't know how you're going to feel about that. Okay, again, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And look at this, you have the Empress and you have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel here that this is going to turn into a beautiful um, committed relationship here. I feel here you're going to have abundance here with the Empress, okay? Some of you could have a family with this person, could have children with this person or are going to have children with this person um, in the future. So this is just beautiful. This tells me the universe here is uh, making things happen, okay? So I feel this person um, is definitely going to put in the time and the emotion here um to have this union here okay so some of that i feel here for some of you this person could be dealing with a past uh divorce a past relationship um there may have been a little bit of betrayal in the past that's not going to be for everybody or it could have just been another uh third party situation all right so beautiful aries let's um and you're going to have, and I feel here, like it's spirits t guiding me back to this card. It's going to be your choice. Okay, I feel here there's some decisions you're going to have to make. And once you make them, that's going to start the movement here. And then look here, you also have memories of the past. So this person is really holding you in high regard here. Okay, this person is thinking about you. Um, this is also this soulmate energy card here. And look, I just want to say here, we have stand your ground, okay? So you may have stood your ground from this person. You may have blocked this person, okay? You may have, oh, look at this. I don't know. Prosperity begins. Look here, partnership, things growing, all right? You have the number one in the heart, um, in the heart of the reading here. So, yeah, beautiful energy. I feel like the two of you are coming together for something more stable and something more long-term here if that's what you wish, okay? Some of you may wish to just be by yourselves, okay? So, um, you don't need anyone. All right, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, let's get a few uh, romance angel cards here. Thank you, angels. Uh, what messages do you have for Aries in love? What messages do you have for Aries? Okay, yeah, love yourself first. That's what I felt here. You stood your ground with this person. We got the honeymoon, okay, and we have finances and career, and we have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, okay, so there's definitely some healing going on, I felt that um, this can also be about, um, you know, there could be some parents that are involved, you know, it could be a mother or a father of you or this person who is, um, I said here it could be a, another third party situation. Uh, there may be some healing um, with dealing with future in-laws, I'll just say. For others, this can be about a family situation. You may have been distant um, with somebody already that you have children with. Um, and then the last thing, this could also be, there could be things that happen in your child or your per or things that happened in your childhood or your person's childhood that are affecting the relationships that you're having today. So there may be healing going on with that. And then, um, so like I said, you have love yourself first. So I do feel like um, you took the stand here with your person and um, you're putting yourself first here in the situation and you stood your ground with this person is what I'm getting. Then you have here honeymoon, okay? So there may be some distance between the two of you. Um, this also can be um, with union. The two of you are going to go through a honeymoon phase, may even travel together is what I'm getting. And then the third card you have is financial issues are a factor in your love life, okay? So this fell with all of this stuff here, the conflict and defeat. So whatever this conflict was in the past, it could be affecting you or your person's finances here, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna just pull a couple uh, Lover's Oracle cards to close out the reading. Thank you, angels, spirit. 
What uh, messages do you have for Aries? Let's get two cards, please. Let's get two cards. Okay. All right. So the first card that you have is Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Okay, so I do feel like the two of you are going to reunite or come together. I mean, give each other a big hug there. And then we have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. Yeah, I do feel like this person, um, you or this person, whoever's making this offer here, I feel um, they're going to come in playful. They're going to come in light. They're not going to talk about anything heavy in the beginning. Um, they just want to get to, back to that place where things are fun and loving again. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, again, if you want to enter for the personal reading giveaway, subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.